Hi, this is P.R. Sundar. Welcome to Pre-Market Report, sponsored by TaxBuddy.com. Uh, there is some technical glitch in our video, so I'm continuing with the audio until we resolve the uh, technical glitch. And look at the U.S. inflation data. So the inflation data came exactly as expected. The previous month it was 7.1%. Yesterday it came around 6.5%. I remember the peak was 9.1%. So from 9.1%, it has come down to 6.5%. And if this continues, so more or less the inflation will be coming under control in the next few months. So because of this expectation, so US markets moved higher, particularly Nasdaq was up for fifth straight day. Uh, US markets were very volatile you know, in the first 15 minutes, candle uh, Nasdaq has fallen nearly 150 point. But at the end of the day, uh, Nasdaq has actually moved higher. And for fifth straight day, it closed in green. So now all is well with US. Look at the Asian markets. The so most of the Asian markets are higher. They are in green. Uh, the Japan is down. So usually, you know, even people while talking, they usually talk uh, Asia Pacific X Japan. So Japan is not considered because that's a developed market in Asia, while most other markets are emerging markets. So looking at uh, SGX Nifty, it is just indicating only 20, 30 point gap up. And, uh, you know, so India is distinctly negative and it will continue to do so uh, unless some major thing happens. What major thing? At least the FIAs will have to stop selling. So they are relentlessly selling in the month of January alone. So they have already sold about 15,000 crore. So that's almost close to uh, $2 billion. And it's surprising that our Indian rupee is also appreciating. But despite that, FIAs are selling. Usually FIAs sell when the rupee depreciates. So while it is appreciating, actually it's double good for them. Market goes higher, they make money. Plus currency appreciates, they make extra money. But now we do not know what is happening. Uh, FIAs continue to sell. Not even a single day they were net buyers in cash market in January 2023. Yesterday, after the market hours, the Infosys results came. Uh, the results seems to be very good. And uh, US uh, ADR, it's up about 1.5%. At some point of time, it was up 2.5%. So at least today, Infosys uh, will open positive. So that is something good. HL technology also came out with good results. And today, the Wipro will be coming out. So with this, most IT, IT companies' results will be out. And so this whole week, the focus was on IT. The next week, the focus will turn to banking stocks. Why? Saturday, HDFC Bank will start the results. And uh, if the results are good, other people will assume that other banking results will also be good. If the results are bad, the market will assume other banking results will also be bad. And then towards the end of next week, the speculation will be built upon uh, ICSA bank results, which is on next Saturday. So this week is a week for IT. Next week will be the week for banking stocks. So market will be keenly waiting for the HDFC bank results. So because the HDFC group performance uh, has not been good for the last two years, uh, particularly last year because of this merger issues. Uh, today, stocks to focus will be definitely Reliance Industries, Access Bank and ICSA Bank, uh, which are the top three losers yesterday. And uh, addition to that, HL Technology will be in focus after the results. And HDFC Bank, uh, will also be in focus. And sad thing is that we are still struggling to cross uh, 18,000. Uh, you may remember 
October 2021, Nifty was around 18,600 and now we are somewhere around 17,800, 17,900. So that is uh, almost uh, uh, 15 months, 15, 16 months and we are still uh, no, in negative territory. So when the issues are resolved, probably the global markets continue to be firm maybe at some point of time so we may turn around but as of now our market is weak and uh, today the last one hour is very very crucial usually if monday to thursday if the markets are weak and markets tend to see some kind of a short covering uh, towards the end of uh, friday that's because the traders will not like to carry positions home so let us see uh, whether there is going to be any turnaround uh, because of this uh, Infosys results. Many times in the past, the overall sentiment of the market has been changed by Infosys results. So let us see the first half an hour and last half an hour trading will be very, very crucial for today. Uh, like usually I'm a very bullish guy, but this time uh, things are not going well. So who knows? Always my uh, trollers say, uh, Mr. Sundar become bearish, market will go up. Mr. Sundar turns bullish, market will go down. So who knows? When I'm turning bearish, the markets may go up. So if that happens, it's something good. So Nifty is likely to trade between seven yesterday's low, which is the swing low, and the high may be around 18,100. This is a very big wide range, but still uh, in the past many times uh, on the day of uh, Infosys results, markets paid a bigger move, wider range. At least nowadays not so bad. I remember five, six years before as and when Infosys results come, either it goes up by 10% or it goes down by 10%. So that's, that's a, such a high volatile stock. So let us see what happens today. Hope you enjoyed uh, listening to this audio. Thank you for listening.